All right, guys, what is up, my brothers? We have a sponsored request today from a guy that has screwed up his life in a big way. The subject of his message is, should I keep being a dad to my daughter? Well, he found out the uh, little girl is not his. So I'm going to get into this and uh, read it up and see if we can offer him some advice to un-F his life. It says, uh, for most of my life, I've always pursued excellence in everything I do. I was always at the top in school and sports. I was the leader of my group of friends. I was respected by my peers. But at 20 years old, right after I moved to America to pursue a career in fitness and entertainment, I met the woman who I thought was the one. First mistake at 20, which is standard for a lot of guys. So we're not going to beat them up too much. A lot of young men think that they find the one. You guys are about to find out what the one looks like in a second. He calls her a 17 out of 10. I think he's watched my channel for a while because I've referenced that before. Smart, strong, independent woman who spoke four languages, had a decent job. In her younger years, she was a playmate and a Miami Heat cheerleader too. Uh, by the way, guys, women that work in these positions, playmates, Miami Heat cheerleader, like if you're a cheerleader for a sports team, I can tell you right now, a lot of the team had their way with her. Also two college degrees. Uh, so she speaks four languages, two college degrees. Uh, apparently, she's a 17 out of 10. And his blue-pilled self obviously didn't care that she was 11 years older. Dude's 20. He starts getting it on with a 31-year-old. It gets worse. She was 11 years older than him. With multiple kids, covered in tattoos, suffered from borderline personality disorder, and with daddy issues. Divorced twice and recently bankrupt. We have more red flags than a Chinese communist parade. The reason why I wrote my book, The Unplugged Alpha, and included a chapter with the 20 red flags in it was so that guys did not make any of these mistakes that this young gentleman did at 20. We don't have a time machine. We can't send him back and put the book in his hand. But again, Unplugged Alpha, guys, it's available on Amazon. It's also available in Audible, uh, recently released. I narrated it myself, pinned in the top description, or just search on uh, Amazon for Richard Cooper, the Unplugged Alpha, you'll find it. Anyway, as time went on, my career advanced and I became the time of the top fitness model from Mexico. Sorry, at the time, the top fitness model from Mexico. After winning international titles, I got to be on TV a few times, acting gigs and reality TV. So I can't show you what this guy looks like because my uh, requesters, the people that sponsor these, these topics, always ask me to protect their identity which is reasonable, but he linked his Facebook and his Instagram and I can verify without a shadow of a doubt, the dude is like, if you haven't Googled who Giga Chad looks like, he looks like Giga Chad, okay? Chiseled jawline, jacked as like saucy as hell, tall, covered in tats. Like he looks like the typical alpha Chad that women would be throwing themselves at. If you ever saw that ax commercial with the dude with the spray doing this shit, and there's like a thousand women running at him, he looks like that kind of guy that women would run at, like the actual optics of masculinity and giga chat. Anyway, so this guy goes and gets involved with a twice divorced, bankrupt, single mommy, uh, several kids covered in tats with borderline personality disorder and daddy issues. You can see why I tell you men to vet properly. Anyway. Uh, her insecurities grew as she realized my value was increasing and hers was decreasing until one day she ordered me to quit my job, sorry, quit, quit my career aspirations, begged me to get a regular job and demanded me to get her pregnant or she would call immigration and have me deported. Are we, are we paying attention here, guys? Like, as, as I continue to read through here, it's like one red flag after the, you know, the other. There must have been something firing in this guy's spidey senses that said, hey, dude, you sure you really want to do this? Are you really sure you, know, you want to continue to remain involved with this train wreck as it unfolds in slow motion and you invite yourself into it? Anyway, uh, so she threatens to have him deported. At the time, I still hadn't resolved my immigration status. By the way, guys, if any woman threatens to have you deported, that's this much of a problem. Just go leave, right? Figure like figure out how to get residency another way. You don't need to wife up crazy and put a baby in it, which by the way, turns out not to be his. Uh, and, and anyway, at the time he hadn't resolved his immigration status because even though we got married very fairly quickly, it was suspicious. We met less than three months earlier and she was much older than me. Eventually my living situation was unbearable and I decided to leave. No kidding. 
Months later, she called saying she was pregnant with my baby. Me, coming from an extremely dominant single mother home with no father figure, I felt obligated to go back to her and make it work. I would not repeat what my father did. By the way, men, if you're ever, you know, feeling these vibes, a lot of guys that I've talked to about this privately on one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions have revealed that their father was not the man that their mother told him he was supposed to or purportedly to have been. Single mothers often make up a lot of lies to their sons to enmesh them, to control them, to keep them under their thumb and make up stories about what a piece of crap their father was. Um, most men that I know that are fathers that have sons uh, care an awful lot about their boys and they want to be involved with their lives. So before you go drinking the Kool-Aid that, you know, mommy's feeding you, telling you what a piece of garbage your father is, I would, you know, there's this old saying that Ronald Reagan used to use, trust but verify. I wouldn't even trust, but definitely verify, you know, for yourself as you get older. Definitely, definitely ask questions to him. Anyway, but something in the back of my mind always told me to do a DNA test. I didn't do it right away. That was probably mistake number 37 for you, bro. But anyway, it took some time as a pregnancy was uh, what eventually granted his citizenship, uh, blah, blah, blah. But at the time I was right, I did the test. And as I suspected, I wasn't the biological father. Sorry, but when the time was right, I did the test. And as I suspected, he wasn't the biological father. So shocking, right? You know, surprise, surprise. Up to this point, I had raised the girl as mine. Uh, and to this day, she still thinks that I'm her real dad. She is seven. I'll say this, gentlemen. Uh, I remember when my daughter was seven, a seven-year-old girl that's your daughter is probably the sweetest little thing you've ever seen. You will jump in front of her to catch a bullet to protect her life. Um, they, like Seven-year-old girls are sweet as hell. When they get older and they start going into the tween years, things start to change, but I can see why he has an attachment to her at seven. It's, it's, um, it's, I've been there, done it. Any any guy that's been a father uh, that's had a daughter uh, at seven will know exactly what I'm talking about. Comment below, um, you know, resonate. Anyway, but thanks to the uh, red pill, and now I started to realize my uh, rising value as a man. I'm making $150,000 a year cash. I have no debt, and I'm about to turn 33. I'm single, and I learned a lot about women hy uh, women's hypergamy after all of this. But what complicates everything is the fact that I'm afraid that I may not be able to have kids to my extended steroid use. So if you don't know this, um, if you take uh, testosterone and you've done it over a long period of time, your endogenous production of testosterone will eventually start to shut down, sometimes completely, sometimes only partially. Um, this guy is jacked and saucy as hell. I would say he's probably about the same height as me. I'm around six foot two and change. He looks like he weighs about 220, 230. Like he's big. He's a juicy dude. Like I'm 212 or so. He is a big, uh, jack dude. And he has to be for his line of work and what he does, right? Um, he's basically a male fitness model. And, you know, when you look at the uh, gram photos, you can see why he has to maintain this. Um, on a side note, don't think that uh, testosterone use will make you infertile. Um, some guys do, some guys don't. When I started it, when I got onto TRT about three or four years ago, I asked my doctor a few months after, I think on my second or third um, visit, because I read a blog somewhere, some guy said that he was uh, checking his sperm count after being on TRT and he was basically sterile, so he couldn't knock anybody up. So he's like, great, I can shoot my loads everywhere sort of thing. Um, I asked my doctor about it, he goes, well, hang on, before you start doing that, a lot of pregnancies come out of guys that are on TRT and they have their surprise, you know, third, fourth or fifth kid in some cases because they think that they're sterile, but they're not. So you don't always become sterile. Now, on the plus side of this, and you should know this, I'm, I'm actually surprised that you think that you're not able to have kids even at 33. You can, you, you can basically go on a post-cycle therapy, uh, HCG, Clomid, there's lots of uh, things that a doctor can prescribe to you which will restart your endogenous production. So endogenous is your internal production and exogenous is what you introduce with uh, testosterone replacement therapy if you're older. In this guy's case, he's doing it more for his career, for his business. 
Um, he probably on at least two or three times the uh, dosage that I'm on to, to get as big and as jacked as he is, but he looks saucy, like juicy as hell. Anyway, so he's afraid that he can't have kids because of his extended use to be the you know fitness model that he is. Anyway, let's carry on. I'm not being forced to play alimony and I truly feel a connection with her. I'm guessing he means his daughter specifically. So um, what's my advice? Well, you're pretty screwed to be honest with you. Uh, I did post this to Twitter um, the other day. So let's add that to the screen and see what the comments were on this. So I basically posted his uh, email to me and asked, because I got a lot of guys that are really dialed in. So I'm going to read a few of these just to kind of give you some frame. Any man that uses the frame, make it work as a beta male. There's your answer. Uh, well, let's. There's there's lots of blue-pilled alphas out there. Guy looks like an alpha giga chad, but he's still plugged into lies, society lies. That, again, is the whole point of the title of my book, The Unplugging. That's why it's there at the beginning of the book. If you're going to become an unplugged alpha, you need to unplug from the lies. So he's not a beta male. He's an alpha, but he's a blue-pilled alpha. Um, you should post that in a book and sell it because it's complete bullshit. <laughs> Some of these comments are hilarious. There was one here from Chesty. He was talking about her being... Uh, you're going to suffer would be my advice. That's Aaron Cleary. That's Captain Capitalism. Where's the one from uh, Chesty? Stop effing your proxy mom for legal status. Men like to complicate their lives and tell you why they did it. You've heard me say that before. Uh, let's see what else we got. Anyway, you get the idea. There's, there's not a lot. Um, <laughs> Carl said, if she's posed nude, a ring ain't worth it, dude. Anyway. Guy's complicated his life. So here's what you got to know. By the time your daughter gets to her tween years, she's going to be a handful. She's not going to be nearly as sweet as and adorable as she is right now. She's innocent, sweet, and adorable. I get it. Uh, as girls get older, less so. Um, you're probably going to get to days where you're going to dislike her as she, you know, like as she goes to the tween, you know, teenage years. Um, so don't think that that, that, that sweetness is going to last forever. Now, as far as you having kids, so it sounds like you're like, I can't have kids, so should I continue to raise her? Look, at the end of the day, it's your decision on what you want to do. So I'm not going to tell you what to do. If if you had done the right things, which would have been listening to your intuition tell you, don't wife up this older lady, don't, you know, have don't get involved with a single mom with two kids from different marriages that's been bankrupt, that's covered in tats, that used to be a cheerleader for a sports team. Oh man. The whole sports team cheerleader thing. It's like I could I'm I'm just picturing in my head, like, you know, how many times a train was run on, you know, some of these cheerleaders. But anyway, like had you had listened to your intuition, you would not have been here today. But I digress. Here we are today. Again, we don't have a crystal ball to predict the future or a time machine to go back in the time to slap you across the face and tell you not to do it. So what do you do? You decide for yourself, my friend. You screwed up big time. And and Choices have consequences and you have to live with those consequences. As far as you not having kids, I call BS on that. Um, you look healthy as hell. Yeah, you've definitely shut down or minimized the production of your endogenous uh, testosterone, which means you probably have a very low sperm count. You can probably get it back up with HCG uh, and or Clomid therapy. There's different ways to try to uh, reignite that. I'm surprised that you don't know about that if, if you've been that saucy for that long. Usually most guys have some idea how that works. At least try that first. At least try and see if you can restart your own testosterone and, and sperm production um, before you just resign like, oh, I'm never going to have you know my own kid, so I'm going to have to raise this other mofo's kid that I thought was mine for seven years and now I've confirmed isn't. So what do I do, Rich? Help me out. Don't have a time machine, bro. Can't help you out. You made some bad choices here. Try to fix it. Do whatever it is that you can. You have two options. You either continue to father a child that you've learned is not yours that you have an attachment to, which I understand can be tough. I remember when I dated a single mommy for a few years. Um, yeah, it was it was actually tough uh, not being able to see the kids that I had formed an attachment to. As stupid as it sounds, and as many times as I tell you guys, don't get involved with single moms, that's another one of the reasons why, because you will form an attachment and they're not yours. So why even bother? Like, why do that? Um, have your own kids. Dating a chick that was 11 years older. I mean, that was, that was your first mistake. Anyway, you're going to have to decide what to do, my friend. This is more of a lesson for you other guys on what not to do. There's a lot of, I mean, I always say success leaves clues. 
so do failures. And this, this sponsored request is peppered with a whole bunch of failures. So gentlemen out there that are watching this, learn from that. If you know a guy that's in a similar situation, show him this video and say, hey, this is what your life is going to turn into in like 11 or 13 years if you follow the route of this dude. To the man that made the request, you screwed up big time, bro. Figure out how to fix it yourself. I don't have a magic wand to wave to solve your problem. Either decide to continue what you're doing or walk away. But I would definitely, if you want to have kids, talk to a clinic or a doctor that does hormone replacement therapy or TRT and uh, figure out if it's possible for you to restart your own production. Um, back off on the on the sauce a little bit. I mean, like you're, dude, like you're big. Like you're, I get why you're doing it. But if you want to have kids, you're going to have to figure out how to balance it. There's been a lot of guys that have been on TRT or um, other forms of sauce, you know, for their uh, businesses, you know, for their businesses, you know, for their physique and their fitness modeling or whatever that have had kids. I mean, Dorian Yates was Mr. Olympia for several years back to back. He's got children. Um, so don't tell me that you can't do it. Don't make up bull crap in your head and say, you know, I should just abandon my sexual strategy and my my place in the world as a man to father my own kid or children and raise this train wreck. Um, I'm not saying the kid is a train wreck. I'm saying the mother's a train wreck, but to raise the offspring of this train wreck who lied to you. She willingly, knowingly, I promise you, lied to you. Um, so I don't know, bro. You got to decide what what it is that you want to do that works for you. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't prescribe a, a specific solution to this, but I've given you some good tips and I think that this will serve more as a what not to do for other guys that um, are watching this right now. Anyway, comment below. What's your advice to this guy? You tell him what you think he should do to respond to this dilemma. Leave a thumbs up and pin in the top comment again. Uh, links to my book. You want to join my men's community, sponsor a video like this, book me for one-on-one -on -one coaching. I'm available. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.